Hello, my name is Suzette Garcia. I am a clinical educator with Vibrant Laboratories. Today, I'm going to be presenting to you a walkthrough video on Vibrant's Micronutrient 3.0 test. Vibrant America is pleased to present to you micronutrient testing that provides a comprehensive extracellular and intracellular assessment of the levels of the most important vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fatty acids, and amino acids. The report provided gives a score for each category on a scale of zero to 100. The contribution to the category score of each micronutrient is based on how important it is for the category based on literature references and the supporting evidence linking it to the respective category. Please note that a micronutrient might be essential for more than one category. The abnormal section beneath each category score lists the micronutrients which are high or low for the category, and the normal section indicates the micronutrients which fall in range. The test is going to present values for extracellular micronutrients as well as intracellular micronutrients. So for those of you who are not completely familiar with the differences, I would like to present that information to you so that you understand what it is that we are presenting to you. The extracellular micronutrients are going to reflect the nutrients that are outside of the cell. On the report, these will be listed as serum micronutrients. They are determined in plasma. These extracellular micronutrients are short-term values, which indicate recent supplementation or diet. If a patient has recently consumed a food high in a nutrient, you would expect to see it high in the extracellular values, as well as the same thing with supplements. If somebody's currently supplemented or recently supplemented with a nutrient, you should expect to see that higher on the report. But this report will also tell us, are we taking in the appropriate amount? Intracellular levels are going to tell us what is within the cell. Intracellular micronutrients are a longer time frame. Generally months are what we're looking at with intracellular versus hours to days with extracellular. The report will provide you with a summary table of the abnormalities. Anything that is high or low will have an arrow that is down or up down for a deficiency, up for an abundance of the nutrient. This page also presents to you information on what to do with that information. So it will tell you if, for example, the cellular level is normal and the serum is deficient, what do we do with it? So you have different scenarios and an explanation to give you guidance The test results of micronutrient levels are displayed in a table as well as a graphical format for each serum, white blood cell, and red blood cell value as applicable. The graph has red and green background color to indicate whether the micronutrient is in range or out of range. The reference ranges are also provided next to the graph to help with the interpretation. A trend line of the micronutrient level for the respective patient will be available, which will indicate the historical values along with current test results when multiple testing is performed on the patient. The micronutrient complete report also provides nutrient details to include physiological function, clinical manifestations of excess and depletion, how it gets depleted, food sources, and supplement options. To learn more about tests offered through Vibrant America, including Vibrant's Micronutrient 3.0 test, please visit www.vibrant-america.com.